What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob and welcome back to a brand new episode of Cheap vs Expensive. This is the YouTube series where I take two art supplies in the same category, put them up against each other to find out which one of them is worth it at their respective price points. This episode could really be life changing for me. Because today may be the day that we finally crown a new king of all the markers. A position I have given to one marker brand for over a decade. In my previous video, we took a look at the brand new alcohol markers by Ohuhu, the Carla series. These markers have made various upgrades, including the design of the casing, which is now an irregular yet comfortable change. The chisel nib, which has seen a complete redesign into easily the best and most useful chisel on the market, along with now having replaceable and refillable features. These pens have come in pulling no punches. We have access to over 168 colors at a price of $120. That's less than $1 per pen. Globally. Yeah, globally. This is actually really important. Keep that in mind. Also, while today's video is not sponsored by Ohuhu, I do have a discount code and an affiliate link, which you can find down below in the pinned comment of this video, saving you even more money. If you, if you like them. Even if they don't win today, they are a really good pen. Now next we have the Winsor & Newton Pro Markers, my go-to pen for more than a decade. These pens are nothing short of phenomenal. With a huge range of 189 colors and an inclusion of a brush marker which is sold separately, however at the same price with the same inks, these pens are incredibly cheap if you live in the EU. If you live in the US, yeah, you will be paying a little bit more. Though it is important to remember you are getting one of the best alcohol markers on the market. Now this battle is going to be intense. I am very excited yet very nervous. Are my pro markers going to be dethroned? Not just as a worth it winner, but as the best marker of all time. That is a big statement. Let's find out. So before we dive into today's epic battle, we're going to need some energy. That is where today's amazing sponsor G Fuel comes in. For those who don't know, G Fuel is an energy formula mix that takes your water to another level. I actually find myself drinking more water throughout the day and staying more hydrated due to their incredible line of flavors. And yes, they are all sugar free. By using my code ADC, you will get 20% off of your order at the checkout. And just a recommendation, Miami Nights. Honestly, it's like one of the best flavors ever. A big thank you to G Fuel for sponsoring today's video. A direct link can be found down below in the description. But for now, let's get back to the drawing. Okay, so before starting the battle, we of course need a battleground. And as previously, we did a little Mario sketch. I figured today we would finish the ultimate battle with Bowser. Now today's drawing is a direct copy with minor changes to the poster reveal. It's an absolutely perfectly symmetrical piece of art, making it perfect for our battle. And sketching this out only took me a few moments. Nothing too impressive as our shapes are very simplistic here, but in order to create our line work, I once again need to reach for my secret weapon. The light pad. Reminder to all humans watching, if you do not own one, GET ONE! This device will change your life. drawing done and looking pretty... No, that's good enough. Bowser do be looking kind of pretty. It's time to move on to our markers and I'm going to be starting with the pro markers because I feel like they're the current and defending champions. So they can be the one to set the standards today. Now I do have a little decision to make here today. Am I going to be using the brush marker? And I think yes. The brush marker variant is the same product as the pro marker at the exact same price. Look, it even says it right there. Pro marker brush. So I wouldn't say it's an unfair advantage to use this as Ohuhu do have the option and choice to bring a... I wonder if I could use the brush replacements in the new Ohuhu. We're going to come back to this. So as we start with the pro markers, keep in mind I am not attempting to be perfect here today. I'm trying to showcase different uses and techniques. The pro marker itself, the bullet nib, is almost soft and comforting. 
You can feel the ink as the nib and the paper touch becoming one. It's a feeling you don't tend to achieve with the brush nib. It's much more intimate. They of course leave behind them a smooth and even coverage, mostly, but let's not forget that chisel nib. I hate it. It serves a purpose for some people, what that is I don't know, because I feel such a lack of control and fairly uncomfortable using it. The nib, in my opinion, is horrible. And by the way, if you say it is good for backgrounds, do you know how much ink you are using? If you're creating backgrounds in such large scales with just one color, then please fill the blank areas with more objects or use a different medium. Don't waste your inks like that. So with nice even finishes so far, colors look, they look good. This is where we switch to the overpowered mode. During a season one update, ProMarker decided to release a brush marker and what a product they dropped. This brush is the best brush. It's objectively the best. It's soft and flexible. Of course, personal preferences do play a role. However, the flow, control, everything you want, it has. You couple that with the ink flow of pure perfection, you'll never find yourself complaining about this. And that's one of the most important factors of these pens. I don't complain about anything. It's never had me in a position of difficulty and it's always cooperative and working with me. They blend like a computer. You decide you want to blend and without much care and attention, you get those blends. And by controlling the speed and pressure of your strokes, something that does come with practice, you can achieve any desired result. This is what I love about this product. The skill ceiling is high. You can start with these as an amateur, getting beautiful results from day one. But the more you use them, the more you'll improve the quality. And even to this day, I still climb in quality the more I use them. The size and shape of these markers is pretty small, actually. I find this to give more control having less weight and a shorter length keeps the balance just right. Though, they are a round grip, which can become slightly uncomfortable over time due to a lack of change. Overall, I'm not surprised that the results do look pretty amazing. The colors are soft, and while you can choose your own colors, you will find that many are not vibrant or oversaturated. These markers give a more realistic and less artificial finish. But enough about them, let's dive into the oh hoo hoo. Okay, so I'm gonna try and level the playing field here. These are the brush nib replacements by Ohuhu, and I'm gonna see if we can put one of these inside one of these. Who has sealed you? <laughs> I can't open it. I got tweezers. It's gonna be one of the worst science experiments ever. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know if it matters what side. I'm gonna try with the chisel nib first. Yeah? Okay, the only question is how do I get ink? <laughs> what, do, what do I do now? <laughs> um, do I just wait? Well, I got it in, but um, I don't have any ink just yet. I'm not sure if that, oh, it's moving. Oh, can you see it? Look, this stuff is happening. Look at it. This is awesome, it's working. I don't know what this is, I'm real happy. It works, it works, it works. You can replace, God, this is huge. Now granted, I've got nowhere to put this chisel nib, but it works. We can replace the ends of these pens with the brush replacements. Let's continue. Ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> so now that we know we can use the brush replacements here, we have just ascended these markers into a whole new realm. Of course, I won't be using the brush for much of this, but I will assign a few key tones to a brush tip just to showcase the blending and capabilities of these brush markers. Until we get to that part, I'm going to replicate the process from the pro marker side, starting with our base colors. And this new nib is something else. It is so much different to the pro marker, a fair bit longer and way more versatile. The sharper point is great for those fine details, while you can also tilt the pen for a much wider coverage. 
making it a much more well-rounded nib versus the Pro Marker. But let's not sleep on the chisel nib because this is one of Carla Marker's biggest changes. This nib is the most useful and easily the best chisel nib of any marker I have ever used. It's actually useful and with the new design, a viable option for almost any scenario. As someone who is actively against the chisel nib, the fact that I use this one of my own free choice should say a lot about it. Now once again, we have those nice finishes with those colors. And yes, they are not completely accurate to the other side, that is down to my color picking skills. However, they are still beautiful nonetheless. But this is where we see if these markers can really make a statement here today. This brush is worlds apart from the Windsor & Newton in terms of design. It's considerably firmer, making it great for those inexperienced with actual brushes. The ink flow is perfect, slightly faster than the Windsor & Newton. This is neither good nor bad as it's going to be a case by case whether the speed matches your style, but for me, it is perfect. You know, I actually find myself enjoying these markers. They are considered an entry level marker, but for me, they feel professional. And this new range has massively improved in all areas, elevating them to a contender for the best marker of all time. Now, as of right now, we have this beautiful range of sets available, which only just released this month in December of 2022. We don't have singles available for this particular model, but I assume they will be coming very soon as I was told they are refillable and have replaceable nibs. Now the size and shape of these is, well, I love them. I think the irregular grip is far superior to the rounded. It is a matter of comfort, but for me having a difference in grips during rotations over an extended period of time is very comfortable and relieves much of the pain associated with lengthy coloring sessions. Overall, both of these products are incredible, with the results being pretty similar, though I will admit the Pro Markers appear to have a better finish. Color picking aside, there are a few differences between these products, with many of the talking points today being a preference-based opinion. Ultimately, the decision of which is worth it, which is better, will come down to those features and opinions. But what do you think? Which do you consider to be the most worth it? The cheap side, Ohuhu Carla markers at $120 for 168 colors. Or the expensive Windsor & Newton Pro and Brush markers at $200 EU or $750 in the US for 189 colors. So this is easily one of the most difficult battles to decide and I think we actually have two answers. So first, which is worth it? And I think due to the minor differences and the many more features, I'm gonna have to give my worth it winner to Ohuhu. They're a cheaper product by default and have a global standard price, but that's not all. Thanks to all of your comments and your messages on my last video, Ohuhu have confirmed that they are in talks and discussing bringing the brush markers to this collection, which is huge. But which is the best marker of all time then? You tell me. No, I'm just kidding. The best marker of all time. I'm gonna give that to Windsor & Newton. Now I'm only saying this because the ink quality and finish is superior. If we were to ignore the final results, then I'd say oh hoo hoo. But at the end of the day, the results are what will define the best, not the greatest, but the best marker of all time. So there we have it. The Pro and Brush markers remain the king of all markers, but they only held on by a thread. And I think very soon we are going to see the Ohuhu brand take over. But what do you think? Do you agree with my decision here today? Let me know your thoughts. I look forward to reading all of your comments and of course, getting so much hate. <laughs> That's it, this was it. This was my final video of 2022. And I go out like this, great. <laughs> I hope you all have amazing holidays. Have a great new year and I look forward to seeing you all again in the new year. Till next time, stay safe, stay healthy, be careful, enjoy your time, have a great time. Bye. <laughs> ah, oh, this is, the comment section is going to be fun.